boom welcome back guys grant training systems back again with another knee pain video so let's use my specific movement mobility and positional stretching template to get you and keep you pain free <laughs> And before we get started, let's get a little bit of house cleaning out of the way. All these videos are coming from my online Unbreakable Body program. You can check out the link below. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so now and drop at any time a comment or a question and I will get back to you faster than you can ever imagine. All right, so the exercise movement I wanna do, and you can easily take your shoes off, that's not a problem, I'll go and keep mine on, because if I keep taking everything off, I got nothing left on. So from here, what I wanna do is I just wanna see if I can balance on my foot first with my leg behind me. And then if my leg can go out, and then can I bring it out to, can I abduct my leg? And you can even try adducting your leg. And just see if you're able to hold all those different positions. If you can, from there, I want you to now take your opposite arm, so we use the center of gravity, <coughs> excuse me, to our advantage. And I wanna see if you can go down in touch just like that, keeping the balance the entire time. So set a goal, 10, 15, 20, whatever, and through that, you are not allowed to put the other foot down because you need to rebuild that proprioceptive neuromuscular magicness in order for your body to know where it is and your ankle to understand what it's doing. So I'm gonna hop back here a little bit. Whoop, now I'm better in the camera here. And from once you've got that down, you can go forward, and back, forward and back, forward and back, and from there you then wanna do the other leg. Even if your other leg doesn't hurt you, you wanna make sure that it's still similar, and you wanna make sure that if they're both bad, or if one bad, the other one's bad, and if one's good, the other one's good. So obviously make the other one, the bad one good, the good one better, because it's very important that we don't have this this, this opposite thing going on, because I've explained it many times before, it's like tug of war. And if one leg is horrible and the other one is great, this is like tug of war. Sorry, let me finish my example here. Between Team Navy SEALs and Team Toddlers, your body will not like it at all. So even if you have only knee pain in one side, do everything on both, bring them together. And if one is much worse than the other, focus on that side, but make sure you still do both sides. And right, now it's the IT band foam roller. So I'm sure many of us have done this many times. A lot of us have heard this is dangerous, this is bad. Give this a shot. If it makes you feel better, then it's fine. What I want you to do is two different things. This is kind of why this one's a little bit special and different. So you see how right now my left foot is in front of my right leg, yeah? And I'm rolling and I'm a bit sore because I ran last time, for, or yesterday for the first time in a while. So as you can see, as I'm on this IT band position, I'm rotating myself a little bit forward. So I'm kind of going diagonally into my quadricep and I'm also able to move myself back. Now, if the foam roll seems to go too high up, you can always just kind of push it down a little bit. I need to be a bit careful that I don't roll out of the camera here. Oh, and you can also see, <laughs> this is so sorry today, that I can also move back a little bit. I can rotate myself back, but it's easier for me to rotate myself like this. So you see how I just changed the position of my leg? Now I can either hold the ground again or I can hold my knee, and this is very sensitive on me today. Oh my God. But you can see the angle position that I changed. Right now it's going diagonally into the back side, if you will, of my IT band. I'll show a bit of a picture here. And if I'm over on this side, it's going diagonally, but more from the, more from the front to the back. Does that make sense? Because you're changing the angle in which you're working on your IT band number one, but also your quadricep. Because in this position, it's a little bit more IT band quadricep focused, if you want to call it that. Where in this one, it's going more posterior to anterior to your IT band. You will feel the difference and whatever one seems to work more for you is the one that you focus on. All right, so for video purposes, I'm cheating a little bit because I would do this, this stretch against the wall, but then I gotta move everything and I gotta go against the wall. So instead, I've got a chair where we are going to pretend in YouTube land, so please pretend with me, that this is actually a wall, like something like that right there. So what I'm gonna do is make sure my mic doesn't fall off. I'm gonna step in this position to where technically my foot would be against the wall, not a chair, and from here, I'll make sure I don't get too close to that camera here, I'm gonna step up into the typical couch stretch position so I'm gonna move over just a bit so I don't 
cut out of that camera completely. And from here, what you're gonna recognize is I'm staying in this position. A lot of times we pop up right away, which is okay, but what I wanna do first is just allow my hip to open up. Now, if you saw last week's YouTube, or the YouTube video a few days ago, actually, I'm doing two a week now, you're gonna recognize that this is very similar to a stretch that I did before. This one is fantastic because it allows uh, the people that are not able to do the stretch where they grab the foot to do to do this one. This is uh, very nice because while I'm in a very extended position, you can also start very easily and have your knee in a much better position. So again, we gotta pretend we're against the wall here. And from this position, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to stretch and I'm gonna continue to open it up and actually basically we're on live here because I'm gonna steal this foam roller right now and I'm gonna show you how you can use this foam roller. I wanna make sure I don't block myself in this camera to help balance yourself because now I'm in this position, but I'm going to come up your I'm sorry for the foam roller blocking the other camera a bit, but now what you can recognize is I'm able to balance myself because if I'm using my hip to maintain my balance, that's not necessarily wrong, but if your muscle is balancing, it's stabilizing. If your muscle is stabilizing, it's contracting, it's firing, and this is the same thing that we're trying to stretch. So that would be a little bit weird if you were trying to contract your bicep and stretch it at the same time, it's not really possible. So if we're trying to open up muscle and we're trying to get it to relax and release, the last thing we wanna do is have it stabilizing and balancing and working too. Now, before we go, I wanna talk about the little dark skeletons in our closet because what you can realize let's see can you see it there we go in that camera right there you see how I start changing the position of my foot that actually is gonna play with the mechanics within my knee and my ankle and my hip and I'm able to really kind of check out what's going on I had a knee injury and I had some scar tissue in my knee and that little foot movement right there gave myself the knee mechanic I needed to really kind of grind up my own scar tissue inside it was very odd the feeling and painful. So play around with it, but be careful with it. You notice I just moved my foot again because I'm finding exactly, there it is, that position. And through that, I'm able to be my own little doctor, physio, orthopedic surgeon here and play with myself, as weird as that sounds. So this is even gonna sound more strange. Don't be afraid to play with yourself in different positions. That sounds very strange, but you know what I mean. Try this stretch, start slow. If your knee hurts, get a pillow, have some fun. Remember, it's your knee, nobody else's, so have fun with it, play with yourself, touch yourself, do all that jazz, it sounds terrible, and I will see you all next week. All right, there we go, one more video done, and hopefully one more exercise for your library for you to become and stay pain-free. If you have not gone to the website yet, granttrainingsystems.com and signed up for the free 45 minute consultation, do so now. Let's talk one to one about how my digital physical therapy programs can help get you pain free and keep you pain free and make sure you live a life that is pain free. If you have not subscribed to the channel, do so now. Hit that goddamn bell so you get the notifications. Every Tuesday is a new video and these videos are also every Friday on IGTV. So if you have not, not subscribed to my podcast yet or not subscribed to my a little Instagram channel, then do so now because the link is up there. I want to see you guys everywhere. Let me know what you think of the videos. Leave your comments below. Have a goddamn good day and I'll see you guys next week.